All right, I got my Tiny Turbo 286 from Dave Just Dave. Time to get it installed in my IBM 5160. And let's get this show on the road. I now have my Tiny Turbo 286 board installed in my IBM 5160. You can see it installed right there. I've got heat sinks on the math coprocessor, 286 processor, and down under that ribbon cable is the original 8088. That also has heat sinks. These chips are running really hot now that they're accelerated. And down in there you can see my XT to IDE compact flash adapter. Pretty cool. So it is up and running. I don't see any smoke, no sparks. Everything looks good. Time to button it up and do some speed checks. Just had a quick thought since I was talking about my XT to IDE compact flash adapter. I pulled it out really quick to show you guys what it looks like. Here it is. I'll zoom in. Right there, you can see the website, where to order it. Pretty cool, basically you can plug this into, uh, you know, like a 5150 or 5160 like I did, and use a compact flash card for a hard drive. You can also hook up a LED right on that fourth pin right there. So you can have the hard drive LED on the front of your machine, blink, Blinky blinky, we like blinky lights when it is uh, accessing the hard drive. I'll show uh, the flashing light here momentarily. Here we go, we're just waiting for the hard drive LED to start flashing. Memory check is almost done. 640K, watch the light. See it blink? Keep watching, it'll blink again. So awesome. We all love blinky lights. No hard drive, the MFM hard drive is gone. Ran wires over that way, around, and down. A little white connector right there. Plugged to the pins I talked about in the previous clip. All right, now let's officially button this back up and do some speed tests. Okay, the machine is now buttoned up, but before I get everything hooked up and do some speed tests and benchmarks, I wanted to show the back of the machine. Right here, you can see the IBM 5160 badge the uh, label for the power supply information, FCC information, etc. That little switch you see right there, that is on the Orchid uh, Tiny Turbo 286. In the up position is 286 mode, down position is stock 8088. To the right of that, you can see a compact flash card sticking out. That is plugged into my XT to IDE hard drive adapter. Other miscellaneous ports, parallel serial, floppy, my EGA card, game port, etc. And right there, oh, there is my chip puller. This thing is pretty sweet. Use that for pulling out the 8088 and other chips. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. They're pretty useful to have and they're pretty inexpensive. Okay, now to flip this around, plug in everything and do some benchmarks. Here we are in Check It. Already got it loaded up and I have the tab selected for benchmarks main system. We're gonna go ahead and hit uh, enter now. Let it do its work. It's going to be kind of slow because it's doing uh, the 8088 at 4.78 megahertz. Right now it's trying to determine the math speed, um, but the stock 8088, I don't have a math coprocessor, so it's going to be slow. Almost done. All right, there is the baseline for my machine and I will now flip the switch on the back. It will do a reboot of the machine, put it into 286 mode, which also has a math coprocessor. It will be interesting to see what those results are once we do it. Stand by. All right, got check it going here. Once again, we're now in 286 mode, switch is up. Let's go ahead and get this going here. Go over to Benchmarks, Main System. Or you can see it says 286 at 7.17 megahertz. It's going way faster doing the math because there is a math coprocessor for the 286 side of this. And...
boom oh my god look at how fast if you look at the top right up there XT you see the gray that is the stock machine current the white bar below is what it is now with the 286 that is crazy fast okay I think I need to bring up a game or something and see how that runs okay stand by all right I got King's Quest 1 loaded we're gonna go ahead and hit return Cracked version. Don't copy that floppy. Cracked version. Press escape. Okay. It sounds like it's out of tune. Oh man, I really need to get an ad lib sound card for this. That is the stock PC speaker sound. Oh my gosh. I forgot how bad that sounded, but it's kind of nostalgic at the same time. All right, press any key. Wow, yeah, this loads way quicker um, with the 286 uh, Tiny Orchard uh, Turbo Card. This is sweet, thanks to my friend Dave, Dave, just Dave on YouTube for sending me this card. We did a little bit of a trade swap i don't want to give up what i sent him in exchange for this card but i believe he'll be doing a video on that i'll link to his channel down in the description and i'm going to play some king's quest one thank you for watching if you like this video please click the like button uh, if you'd like to see more videos from me subscribe uh, hit the little bell to be notified when i do new videos so i'm going to try to do more on a regular basis, better production and all of that. Right now I'm using my cell phone. That's why it's all crooked and sideways and whatever. But hey, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a guy that collects old computers and has fun with them. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's time for some King's Quest. Let's uh, start walking around and check things out. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.